Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today we are going to be cutting some longer logs and I wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks for doing this. It's not that big of a deal cutting uh, longer stuff, you know, we inventory 10s and 12s so we do a lot of 10 and 12 footers but when it comes to 16 foot and even 18 foot logs, uh, there's a few things that we do a little differently that I'd like to share. We have a very large order for one and one eighth by 10 by 16, over 200 of them. So we're going to be cutting a lot of 16 footers within the next few weeks. We used to have the question where to put the longer stuff because our trailer was only 12 foot long, but now we have a longer trailer that won't be as much of an issue. I know I'm going to get questions about why the six by six is on here. So I'm just going to answer it before it happens. We have it here as a weight for, because when we're cutting shorter stuff, all the weight is over that way and it's hard to push them far enough this way to keep enough weight. So we have a six by six here. Sometimes, you know, honestly, we could use another one, <laughs> but uh, when we, we fill up this trailer, it's, it definitely starts going like that. So just need to keep some counterweight on it. And that is why that six by six is there. <laughs> Our deck is fully loaded and all of these logs, well, maybe not that one, but most of these logs should be able to yield a 10 inch wide board. So we should be good to go. This is probably all we're going to do today because 16 foot logs take a lot longer to cut than shorter stuff. And I'll get into that a little later. One of the issues with cutting longer logs is we're not really set up to do so. And here's what I mean. This area is so tight that it's just really hard to maneuver longer boards here because you're basically like hitting the operator every time you pull a board off. Uh, so usually when we cut 16 footers, we do one thing and that is putting the jigs and the trailer farther back. And that gives us more space to maneuver. It's still a tight squeeze, but that does at least help a little bit. Usually we remove the flitches 
and cut them down to 12 foot and then run them through the edger. But we don't actually want to cut them down today. We're actually going to do it the old fashioned way and cut off the edges on the mill. Uh, the first way we did it, which is the one that you just saw, uh, putting the boards up and then cutting it as you cut the main cant, I think we're gonna do a little differently this time and cut them afterwards because that was a little bit too challenging. It just was too much of a mess, uh, too much all at once. So, and it, with it being one, eight, one and one eighth, it doesn't cut on the inch, so it's gonna be different. Um, so we're, what we're gonna do is we're going to put the flitches on the arm and just wait till after you cut the whole cant, put them back up and then cut the edges off. The reason why we're not cutting the 16 foot edges on the edger, why we're not using the edger is because it's too tight in there. Uh, we can't actually get 16 footers over there. And I know that that's just an issue that we have here at our log yard, but this place isn't as big as it might first feel. We kind of run out of space. We run out of space a lot. So it's too much of a tight squeeze and that's why we cut them down usually when we use the edger. But we want to keep it 16 foot long. So we're just going to do it the old fashioned way. There is one thing that we do when we cut 16 footers that I feel like is handy to know if you don't know it already. Because they are longer than normal, well, I don't know what you guys are cutting on your mill, but because they are longer logs, this, there's actually more stress on the blade because the blade is cutting for longer. So it can get hotter and it can stretch out and it can break or whatever happens. So what we do is we run extra lubricant when we're cutting at 16 footers, because like I said, the blade is in the log more. There's more friction for longer. So especially since these are bigger logs or wide, so it's more surface area, um, we're using all the lubricant that we can to keep the blade nice and cool um, because that can be an issue uh, some definitely something that we've struggled with before in the past and I found that just running it on full blast really helps keep that blade nice and good for longer Another thing I like to do when I'm cutting longer logs is when I cut off the slab, making it a little bit smaller. And this is important just because, you know, if it's just a swamping, it can be really hard to handle because obviously they're heavier. Uh, so I, I cut them smaller so they're lighter and easier to handle because no point in making it harder for yourself. And if it's just one extra cut, no big deal. Another very important thing to do when you're cutting longer logs is drink coffee. And here's why. The reason why it's so important to drink coffee, preferably iced coffee in the season, is that just as you lubricate your blade, you also need to lubricate yourself. If you want to keep your sharp mind sharp, -er, then Coffee is a good solution, all right? Keeps you nice and boing. So, I recommend taking a sip of coffee in between every cut. So, cut off your slab, take a sip. Cut another piece, take a sip. It doesn't have to be a large sip, it just has to be the right size. Small, <laughs> tiny, because you have to make it last through all day, so you have to be taking tiny sips. But you want to keep that flowing just like you keep the water flowing on your mill you want to keep it flowing through your body and that is all i have to say about that
when you're cutting longer logs is drink coffee. And here's why. <laughs> I tried to I tried to say that so seriously. <laughs> Just as you lubricate your blade, you also need to lubricate yourself. 